<laughs> Police say officers found um, just three blocks away, sitting on one of the suspects' front porch. So they went three whole fucking blocks and robbed the motherfucker at gunpoint on a Shawnee bus stop. Wow, you know, that's some fucking real brave shit right there. So these fucking four warriors, four rapping fucking gangster thugs, right? This is how they get their fucking bread. What the fuck could you really steal from? I mean, how much money could this woman have had that was at the bus stop? Is she just blinging all over the place? Did you, it was a good-ass lick. Was it a good lick? Did y'all get a good lick? Y'all get it? You know, um, and Chris Payne says that's weird. West Louisville is usually such a safe place at night. So, I, I, it, it is a little bit, um, I don't know, it's refreshing because I've, I always defend black folks, you know, all the time, every time, everywhere. It's a racist institutions. They started out with racism. There's genocide. There's slavery. There's institution racism. I mean, there's racism all over the place. And people do have to, you know, uh, people of color have to uh, fight a greater struggle than what I have to fight. But that don't make my struggle inert or obsolete, I have a struggle too, and I align myself with, you know, black folks. So that means whatever white privilege, white supremacists give themselves, you know, somebody will hear me talk about how I don't like racism and automatically not like me, right? No, oh, I'm not like him. Oh, no, that makes no sense. Well, that means you got white supremacist tendencies. You know, I hate a white supremacist. I, it's not, you know, I don't hate it. Every group has shitty fucking people. It doesn't matter what group you're in. Right? Every group out there. Um, and so, you know, Chris Payne, he's making a joke, right? West Louisville is not a safe place. Um, even as he says, what we need is a, a wall all around the West End, right? So that's um, that's a little harsh. Um, but I, I will say this, it, it seems like the West End was purposely put where it's at anyway, so it almost seems like it's not a wall, but it's like a reservation off to the edge of the city, you know, by the river. And it's nice property. It's nice spots over there. So really, I mean, drive through it, you don't see where the ghetto is at. It's nice properties with nice lawns, and so really, it, it just the good black folks are letting the shitty black folks fucking take the streets. And the good black folks, it's just like the white people. It's just this exact same. You know, the exact same thing. And then we'll have actually some motherfuckers, they robbed me when I was there. It took like, basically... Almost fucked my whole life over, but um, white people during the times of the Ku Klux Klan, it wasn't that every white person was down with the Klan. The Klan was just totalitarian, so they fucking was going to rob and kill anybody. So if you like black folks, they was going to go after you too. Um, so what white people were doing with the so-called good, you know, passive sort of fucking people that wouldn't harm nobody, what they were doing is they were allowing shitty fucking people to represent them. And so because good whites couldn't stand up to the bad whites, the bad whites fucking ran roughshod on everybody, including other people that probably felt just like you. So I think it's the same exact same thing, thing that's happening in the black community. You got the rappers, not the rappers. I don't want to put it on the rappers. I mean, uh, the, you just got uh, gangbanger wanna fucking bees, okay? The fucking thugalicious, thug significant and shit. Those motherfuckers, they thinking, you know, you're allowing those motherfuckers to uh, welcome people to the community and say, here's how the fucking West End operates and you ain't standing up or doing anything about it. Um, you know, the, this shit happened, did happen to me, and my neighbors who were black folks didn't want to tell the police what had fucking happened, and it made it look like that I was fucking lying. Well, they had lied to me. They said they had fucking videotape. So really, they're fucking lying to me and treat me like the fucking asshole. And then when I call the police, the police think I'm fucking lying because they talked to them. So I just look like the asshole to fucking everybody. Uh, you know, they, except for the motherfucker that got me, he's like walking around all fucking proud and shit, driving by my house. If you're a police officer and you know the motherfucker just robbed you, going by your house? You think that's some good shit? They said that's some nigger shit. That's what the fucking neighbor said. That's some nigger shit for him to be fucking driving around like that like a goddamn fucking psychopath fucking piece of shit. Um, but that's, oh, I got you. I robbed you. That's just what fucking happened. And really, I, I don't know. I don't want to put it on my fucking neighbors, but there was an argument that we had had and after this argument. I basically was like, fuck it. These motherfuckers are going to kill me. And I guess that's just how it's got to be. Motherfuckers just want to fucking get your compliance, so fuck it, I'll let you kill me. They were going. They would have fucking killed me. They would have fucking done it. I was like, I would basically resign. Fuck it. You want to kill me? Fine, kill me. But that's horrible. I shouldn't be resigned. I shouldn't give up on my fucking life just like that. Motherfuckers want to fucking do me harm and treat me like shit. That angel is a real fucking devil. That's the fucking neighbors I'm talking about. So that was a fucking devil. She was a psychopath from the very moment that I met her, right? Uh, my mother was helping me move in. She said, um, this is going to be the best neighborhood relationship ever. 
And then they didn't say shit. And so I should have been like, huh, or not, I guess it's not going to be, you fucking psycho motherfuckers. Like, fuck you, okay, you piece of shit. God damn it. Oh, I fucking hate her. <laughs> I fucking hate Angel. Fuck her. Cinderella, right? She's all in an alley, all ripped to shreds. She's not raped. That was actually what her stepsisters did to her. Bill Clinton, right? He never inhaled. He did not inhale, everybody. Um, he don't want black people to go to his games. That's racist, right? So, again, we see racism uh, popping up over and over again. Um, this, I mean, this, this is what I'm talking about. If you can't understand me not liking a racist, because seriously, we're 2014 and judging motherfuckers by the colors. We're all human. You know, like, you can sort of point out differences and say, hey, that's a difference to, to uh, of culture. But you can't say they're different, like, species or, di like, a different kind of animal. Um, either way, it doesn't matter either way if you're judging, you know, like, if you look at Mexican people and you say they're all like this. And people have generalizations about everybody, but we all human, you know. We all fundamentally people. We all bleed red. We're all pink on the inside. And, um... <laughs> and uh, and that's just how it is. So you know, it's uh, one love, baby. But uh, right wing, these motherfuckers who's like against the government, they're fucking against the civil war. This is uh, Rand Paul is on this guy's side. Sean Hannity, all these motherfuckers got this latent white supremacy to them. They were on board with Clive and Bundy, and then he says he's sort of like racist. He said it was really offensive. Okay, but. It's freedom of speech, allowed to say what he want to say, so, like, who gives a shit? Like, I mean, why is that, I mean, um, I don't know. He, he was, his speculation, he's a fucking racist piece of shit, and so his, his musings wasn't like, oh, that's illuminating, he's a racist piece of shit, and that's why it's like, well, who gives a fuck what you think about anything? You think that black folk would be better if they were slaves? You're calling black folks Negro? It's like you're dehumanizing them. It's almost like you don't understand. You've always just hated black folks. You don't really know black folks. You drive by them, and you think you know what the fuck is going on. No, no, you've been a cattle rancher living on fucking your daddy's land, and you been living on other people's land, too. You're a welfare rancher, right? So... Well, what do you know? And these are the fucking heroes of the Tea Party. This is Rand Paul, okay? Rand Paul, um, you know, is against the Civil Rights Act. Rand Paul and his daddy was writing all those racist um, newsletters to everybody. And um, everybody in America is racialist, but racist just means you hate somebody because of the basis of their skin color. And really, that's like hating somebody's hair color, eye color, or um, anything. Well, color jacket. I don't like what color jacket you're wearing. You don't like my jacket, and uh, it's red. So, and fuck red jacket motherfuckers. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's really judgmental and discriminatory and you, fuck you. What the fuck you have that prejudice for? Like, where the fuck could that have came from? And really, where does it come from? It comes from slavery. It comes from the subjugation of black folks. It's not a legacy. Anybody wants to be carrying on, it's an insult for black folks. It's a fucking shitty thing white folks did. So, you know, let's do uh, get some reparations and let's just all be friends. Um, here's a, this was coming up on my screen, I don't know what it was, I, I was scared that it was going to be some bad fucking virus, uh, maybe somebody might have some information regarding what I'm looking at here. Former retired Philly police captain Ray Lewis, he's saying that he will not stand idly by while law enforcement is administered only to the poor and disenfranchised while the rich flaunt their immunity. The rich get to do anything and everything. You saw that kid who had a, a case of affluenza, right? He was too rich and he like killed people under a DUI case, but he doesn't go to prison. And yet poor people go to prison for all the smallest things. Um, if you say all politicians are corrupt, nobody bats an eye, but you say all cops are bastards, and then everybody loses their minds. Well, the cops work for the politicians. If you don't like the politicians, then you don't like the cops. Because they're, the, they're their bosses, right? That awkward moment when you realize that the same government that is supposed to protect us from the terrorist is the terrorist. Terrorism is when you use violence in order to achieve your political goals, violence against civilians, and that is exactly what these guys are lined up in order to do. Um, without government, though, you know, people want to say, well, we need government. It's a necessary evil. So without government, who would be able to practice their swift karate moves on handcuffed women? Who can do it? You know, like, we really need these guys. These are important people to have. We need these guys. Um, armed thugs breaking into a nursing home, murder a 95-year-old World War II veteran. It's disgusting. 
World War II hero refuses medical care. Pow, pow. Now the World War II veteran's dead. Thanks for fighting in our country. Praise the troops. What, you don't want to eat your medicine, old man? Pow, pow. Here's a European cruiser designed just, just to show you the mentality of the police in America versus the police in uh, Britain or, or Europe. Okay, so the European cruiser, it says it is designed to be spotted. You want, you know, you're the public official. You want people to know that you're around, that you're keeping them safe. Um, so it's designed to be spotted by citizens in need of police assistance day and night as the law intends. We're here to work for you. But these cops in America, they, they drive in these cool ass cruisers. Now nah, we better than you. We bigger than you. We gangsters. We, you know, we roll big and tight. And they probably anti gangster but they probably playing hip hop in their, you know, in their uh, radios, thinking that they cowboys. And a real cowboy would actually be like Serpico and stand up to the corrupt uh, and bad individuals. That's how you know there's no good cops around. Because if there were good cops around, then they would uh, stand up whenever the bad ones do something out of line. But you don't see the good ones protesting them because they don't exist. Calvin and Hobbes, right, the genius of a child, he's asking his father, how do soldiers killing each other solve the world's problems? And then he was like, huh. And then he was like, dang, I guess he doesn't have a good answer. <laughs> it was a heck of a question for a kid to have, but how do soldiers killing each other solve the world's problems? How does that solve the world's problems? The world's got poverty, starvation. Uh, cl clearly we need conflict resolution issues, right? It's Lord of the Flies here. It's Hunger Games. It's um, the... Uh, What's the uh, uh, the Chinese version of the Hunger Games? The, it's a battle royale. It's a battle royale here, and uh, and I think grown-ups just act like they know what they're doing, and that's exactly right. They uh, and ask him, ask him, hey, you know what's going on? Oh, of course I know what's going on. This thing is going on, and that thing is going on, and blah blah blah, ha ha ha. Oh, wait a second, and then you gotta pretend if they pretend they know. Hey, man, I. What's going on around here? What, you don't know? Oh, no, I, I know. <laughs> I know. No, but I don't, I don't know. It's what's going on, right? Uh, Buffalo Springfield, for, for what it's worth. Or um, Marvin Gaye. Mother, mother, the, what's going on? So, Calvin and Hobbes, ha-ha. Cops are beating up the flowers. Stop resisting. <laughs> uh, this piece of shit psycho. Is this a friend? Yeah, and fucking Richard Hudson said that's a friend. Oh, this piece of shit here was molesting me. She fucking rubbed on my fucking leg when she was trying to fucking teach me, right? That's how Spalding University fucking teaches people. Um, by First, she got my compliance right, ordered me around like a little kid, like a little dog. Do this thing. Now do this thing. Now do this thing. Now, let me just touch you. <laughs> I feel comfortable around you now. Well, I'm glad you feel comfortable around me, but I don't feel fucking comfortable around you. I think you're a molester oppressor. I think you work at Spalding University, which is an incubator for pedophiles. It's the Catholic religion. Teaching about oppression, uh, oppression, uh, oppression, and fascism, and they're going to teach their students, who's going to be stu uh, teachers themselves, to be oppressor molesters just like them. Uh, Hitler was able to get away with all his crimes because the n uh, Nazis were just following orders. The state troopers in Oklahoma, where all the reservations are at, in Oklahoma, beat the shit out of a deaf man because he wasn't listening to them. He wasn't listening, you know. He, they beat the shit out of a deaf man for not listening. And next they're going to go after blind people for not seeing. They're going to go after handicapped people for not being able to walk. Oklahoma is just basically fucking up anybody with a dis disability. If you got a disability, they're going to fuck you up. Um, and, you know, I guess ADHD, they're going to make them just sit down and write a novel. I don't know. They're going to do... It's horrible. That's horrible what they're doing. They're going to fucking fuck you up if you got a disability. Fuck these people. <laughs> and you can't wait to take away the baby's freedoms. I've always resented the fact when a cop drives by, I feel paranoid instead of protected. It's fear. What the fuck are they doing? Oh, Jesus. Are they going to fuck with me? Are they going to fucking, you know, harass me and shit? This guy has got, I smoke weed every day, signed on the back of him. <laughs> so this guy, yeah. He is, um, 
Officer Christopher Carter kills a college student by shooting him in the back at close range after he sarcastically asks the cop, oh, you're going to shoot me, and for some reason he still has his badge. Oh, you're going to kill me. Yeah, pow, 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 now you're fucking dead. You don't respect me. I got a gun. I'm a short, fat, fucking bald fucking cop. I got a gun, and you will obey every order that I say like a little bitch, okay? No, what, you're going to shoot me? Yeah, you're going to call me out? Now I do shoot you. Pow, 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 I'm a cop. All you do is the fuck as I please. Hold on.